Here, Victor. Don't be annoying him. As old as he is, he's still bloody handy, and he is doing us a favour. Look, let's just not be hanging about sitting there while he rattles on about the war. Shut up, he'll hear you. Oh, I can hear through bloody walls and all now. Aye, I can. <laughs> Jack, Victor, what can I do for you? Sit now, watch your feet. Take a seat. Oh, cheers, Frank. There you go. Right. How can I help? Uh, right, well, uh, Victor's got this machine here now. It's an answered machine. Uh, but part of the message on it's obscured because he's boy that we think said a time. And we're not uh, uh, That would drive you right off your nut, wouldn't it? Oh, I sure go. Oh, I do that. <laughs> right, uh, a message you were saying? Right, what we've got to be working with, eh? Right. Ho, 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 where are you? Look at this uh, state of the art, up to the minute piece of shit. <laughs> Wait a minute there. Hey, where does the coal go? <laughs> Aye, uh, very funny, Sean. Just uh, let me go. No, you'd imagine this would be the smallest tape you could get, eh? Aye, aye you would, Sean. No, not so. I used to carry smaller tapes than this during the war. Ah, oh, Jesus. Aye, if you were crossing a border or you got taken in, you had to secrete them about your person. Let me guess, Shug. Up your arse. <laughs> no, Victor. That's the first place they would look. Well, where would you put them, Shug? Tucked up my bell end. You get through saying that. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. What's in the tape, Shug? We'll find out soon enough. Okay. Message. Public telephone. Hello, Dad. Train Dad, station. Uh, fine up, isn't he, an option? Man in the background arguing with a guard. Full of begging. We jangle the coins. Man reading a paper. Big paper. Times. Telegram. The hackney. Pulling away for the rank. Oh, I'll have to get that exhaust fixed, eh? Hi, very good, Shug. But what time does my boy's train get in? Well, how could I know that? It's obscured by the horn of an RL Blue Line diesel train. <laughs> I didn't know they were still running. <laughs> well, listen, uh, thanks for that, Shug. Aye, I just leave it with me. I'll uh, isolate the EQ and centralise the bandwidth. Aye, uh, that's what today. <laughs> that's your lift coming. See, he's doing the clansman. Aye. Aye. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always back that because I winced. Aye, uh, you do, aye. Hey, that's me eight pound up. What are you having? Pint. Two pints, Bobby boy. Hello, Jack. Hello, Victor. No, 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 I'll be with you in a second. Right. Bobby. Right. Chug. Uh, £22.60. <laughs> I'll uh, find out when your boy's arriving. Oh, aye. Aye, I'm fairly certain it's 2.30. Well, that's excellent, Chug. Let me get your wee haul. No, no, hold the bus there, Victor. I'll be getting a free one in just a moment. Bobby. £22.60. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> There's some man now enough, Shug. Aye, I've certainly taken away all Victor's mind. Not right, Victor? Eh? Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> Mr. Henderson, you wear glasses? I do, yes. May I see them? Uh huh. <laughs> Let the record show Mr. Henderson has handed me his spectacles. <laughs> now, could you look towards my learned colleague and tell the court what you see in his hand? From here? No, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Something brown. Can you put your glasses back on? <laughs> Certainly. Now, tell the court what you see. Uh, it's a beefy beak. Oh, this something brown was indeed something. A beefy beak. <laughs> Oh, there you are. 
You can take your stupid wig off and go and have a lie doing the party's over. If I could interrupt for a minute, my lord. During the recess, my client and Mr. McCormick managed to come to an amicable arrangement and are pleased to announce we no longer need to trouble the court with this matter. Oh. Are you happy enough with this settlement, Mr. McCormick? Happy as a gypsy's dog with two cocks. <laughs> I'm done. Wait till you see what I'm getting. One, two, three. Salmon. Pink. Red, thank you. Ooh. Here, Jack. How many years have we been coming here and eating our lunch? Must be ten years. Eh? Never been caught either. That's got to be some sort of record, eh? So it's been 29 minutes since the novelty of these goggles wore off. What are you talking about? I thought I was going to see Craig Lang at night. Unknown Craig Lang. Bray Kinsen. Kids doing graffiti. Neds. Shagging in the park. Knifings. Murders. That kind of thing. Instead, what have we seen? A dog taking a dump. What a dog. Alright, that's meaning, sir. Right, it's a problem. Should go for a night tomorrow? Good. No hassle. I've got to take a push. Right. You know, my back teeth are swimming. We just seen we're looking for a fox. We're wearing night vision goggles. We look like three assassins. I and I borrowed these goggles for the Terry's we wouldn't tell her not get lifted. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no. No. This is too much for any man to take. You push all over my tank stuff. It's ringing you. Don't be. Please, eh, ma? Why, Martin? I can't wait to get up the road, eh, ma? Neither can I, Martin. Aye, well, some soup when we get in, eh? And then we'll have a cup of tea with some snowballs, eh, ma? I didn't get any snowballs, Martin. Any snowball? Nah. No. You stupid. Oh, cow! Relax, Martin, you've got an Empire biscuit. I'm no one, an Empire biscuit. I want a snowball. Taxi! <laughs> Maybe if you have a job in Martin, you're mocking what you're asking me, Martin. <laughs> this is utter fish. I'm going to get my car. Hold on. Where are you going? Back in a sec. Sergeant. <laughs> 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 